Hi, I'm Joe, and you're in Joe's Kitchen, again. And today, we're doing something to complement what we just made. And if you haven't seen that video, look it up. Uh, recently, we just made pico de gallo, uh, Joe's way, let's just say. Anyhow, today, we're doing another Mexican staple. My, my favorite, I go to a Mexican restaurant, I'm always, always ordering it. I don't know where that came from. Anyways... We're making carne asada, and so without further ado, let's get to it. We're gonna eat, we're gonna eat, we're gonna eat, eat, eat and eat. We're gonna eat, eat and eat, we're gonna eat, eat, eat and eat. Welcome to Joe's Kitchen, yeah, we're gonna eat. That's right! We're gonna eat, eat, eat and eat. 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 Welcome to Joe's Kitchen, yeah. We're gonna eat. Oh yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back to Joe's Kitchen. And like I said, we're doing carne asada today. Yesterday, or not yesterday, earlier today, I made pico de gallo. And let me say it's delicious. I'm kind of snacking on it throughout the afternoon here. So uh, be sure to look for that video. Anyways, uh, this is Joe's Kitchen. And if you like our content, be sure to subscribe. I uh, need all the help I can get. And uh, thumbs up if you like it. And, uh, you know, share with your friends. Do whatever. I don't care. Uh, comments, you know, any comments, I'm welcome. I answer most everything that is put out there for me. Um, so I welcome it all. And I welcome you today to Joe's Kitchen. Yes. And we're doing carne asada. So um, let's just start uh, with our ingredients. And, and by the way, I'm going to be moving the camera around, so be ready for that. Um, I don't have a camera person today, so I'm just kind of doing it on my own. That's okay. We can do this. Uh, so, anyhow, uh, I'm going to show you the ingredients. Uh, let's see. Da, 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 da. Yeah, they're kind of all over there. Anyhow, I'm going to move this so we can see the cutting board and the process being done here. Put it up a little higher. There we go. And hopefully you can see that good. Scoot it over there. Nope, scoot back. All right, there we are. Okay, so first things first. Uh, this is a marinade, so it's not going to, it's going to cook later. Uh, we're going to uh, marinate this for uh, minimum six hours, at the most 24 hours. Uh, it's um, uh, late afternoon here on a Friday, and I'm going to cook it tomorrow. Uh, so that should be a good time. I'm going to try to cook it early. We're in Florida. We're in Florida. You know what that means. You know what that means. All day long. Or you never know when it's coming. I mean, you usually can set your clock to it, actually. It's season around 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, it's late August. So it's getting a little dark outside. I think it's going to be thundering and storming here pretty soon. Uh, we had a lot of rain yesterday, but I'm not the weatherman. I don't need to tell you all that. You're here to watch me cook. So anyhow, hopefully tomorrow it doesn't rain. I can cook on the grill. That's the plan. If not, I'll use the foreman or I'll cook it in, on a, um, in the oven or something. I don't know. I'll figure something out. There's always a plan B. Anyhow, let's go back down to the cutting board. Just like so. And uh, there we are. Let me turn it around like that. There we go. That should cover it pretty good, I guess. Okay. Anyhow, we got our ingredients, and um, uh, yeah, let's start with um, um, our bowl. I'm going to put our bowl in the middle here until we need to cut. And uh, we're going to start with uh, two cups of orange juice. And by the way, I will put the um, recipe in the description, as I usually do. And there you go. And, oh, uh, whoa, 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 what's that? Ah! Oh. It's just Baby the Cat. And yes, sometime in this video, Baby the Cat will make an appearance. So just be waiting for that. Uh, we love Baby the Cat. Anyhow, let's get back to it. All right, let's get to it. 
Uh, if I get this back where it was, boom, boom, boom. All right, that's pretty good. That's good. All right. All right, so we got the orange juice in there. That's two cups. <clears throat> put that away. All right, we're going to also put um, uh, some other ingredients in there, and I'll do the veggies last. So we got uh, garlic cloves. I already have chopped the garlic cloves. We've got uh, six cloves of garlic. You can put as much as you want. I will never tell you it's too much, okay? Uh, garlic is amazing. I always love garlic. Um, there we go. We're going to be marinating this, and then tomorrow we're going to be grilling it. So I don't have gloves on. That's kind of fine because it's, I've washed my hands. Just be assured I have. And uh, at any rate, it's going to be cooked uh, to a safe temperature. Uh, we're going to add in our extra virgin olive oil. Cold pressed, by the way. Quarter cup. Right in there. Boom, boom. And we got some dry seasonings. The dry seasonings are two teaspoons two teaspoons of cumin, two teaspoons of chili powder, one teaspoon of garlic powder, and one teaspoon of onion powder. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Right in there. It's that simple. We're going to give that a little whisk. All right, just like so. All right. I'll put that aside while we do the rest of this project, though. All right, we're going to juice, do some juicing next. And uh, no, we're going to do the jalapenos. There we go, jalapenos. So all these vegetables have been rinsed, and uh, now we're going to prepare them. Let's cut the caps off and get me a knife, a butter knife. And I don't like all the seeds. It's going to be, uh, well, you know, I, I like it really hot, but Patty's going to have some of these when she gets back from her vacation. Uh, by the way, that's why I'm doing all the camera work myself. I think I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm going to get the seeds out. Uh, I'm going to leave some, but I don't want it super hot because uh, she wouldn't like it that way. Me, I could throw a bottle of Tabasco in it and I would be happy. Okay, anyhow. So, what we're doing is we're just going to put that knife in there like that. It's a butter knife. We're going to circle it around like so. Hopefully you can see it all right. And then we're going to pop that out. I'm going to pop it out into the sink. So you'll see the end result. It, it is cored. And there's still some in there, so I'm going to try to get a little bit more out of there. And I'm not going to get all the seeds out. A little seeds is going to be all right. It's not going to be ultra hot with that. Remember, this is marinated and it's going to cook off later anyways. Um, and when you cook uh, jalapenos, they do tend to get milder. All right, so we're going to do this here and so on and so forth. There we go. Let me drop those in. There we go. We got our two jalapenos. And uh, by the way, this marinade, uh, once we make the marinade, then we're going to suit up and and uh, prep the beef. Uh, by the way, carne asada, carne asada means cooked meat. I guess it could be chicken, it could be pork or whatever. I mean, pork is considered, um, um, why can't I think of the name? Um, uh, it'll come back to me later and you'll, hear, you'll see, I'll, you'll see, I'll come back with it and I'll tell you what that is. I can't believe I can't think of what it is. Carnitas, yeah, carnitas. <laughs> Pork. But anyhow, carne asada is usually gen generally associated with a steak, and it's usually marinated and cooked on a grill. And that's what we're going to try to do tomorrow, as long as the rain doesn't come, okay? Uh, so anyhow, uh, we're going to continue this marinade, and then after we're done with the marinade, we are going to let me adjust that up a little bit, down a little bit maybe. All right, after we do the marinade, we're going to come back and we're going to do the uh, meat, and I'll show you how that's done. So stay tuned. So now we're going to cut these and just kind of dice them up, basically. It's kind of messy, actually. And we're going to drop... Ow! <laughs> That's a sharp knife. Be careful. We're going to drop that into... Yes, into the marinade. All right, just like so. Now, it might be advisable to wear gloves when you do jalapenos. I got jalapenos all over my hand here. And if I touch my eye, it's gonna burn. So hopefully I don't get itch in my eye. But actually I'm gonna rinse them off right now, just to be safe. <clears throat> all right, so we got, we're gonna do the cilantro last, cause the cilantro is pretty messy. 
So now the last ingredients we have is, I know we put orange juice in already. We're gonna put some fresh ones in too. And uh, we're gonna do some limes. We're gonna juice them in my handy dandy juicer. This is really a nice juicer, I like it a lot. And then we're gonna do some cilantro and that's gonna be it for the marinade. So let's do it. We're gonna cut the oranges in half. One last one. There we go. Boom, boom. Now, you can see on the top there's this pulpy stuff. We're going to add that in too. There's nothing wrong with that. So I'm going to first um, pour the juice in there. Hold on. Like so. And then, uh, yeah, I'm going to get the, the spoon or something. I'm trying to get some of this good stuff here. This, this is, that's going to be good. That pulp is, is, is good for marinade. I, I mean, I wouldn't put that maybe in a pico or something like that. It's just a little too chunky or whatever. But for marinade, it's perfect. You know, it's definitely perfect. All right, so there we go. We got that. Put that over here. And stir that up. Last item up for bids is the cilantro. And it requires a lot of cilantro in my opinion. And uh, here we go. So I've already rinsed this all. And the one thing you can do is you can bunch it up like this and you come back with your knife and just cut it down. And like so. And I think, I think that's good. All right, put that over there. And I'm gonna put that into our, I need to invest in one of those scraper things I got cilantro all over my hands, but you know what? Oh God, I love the smell of it. All right, so let's move this aside. Yeah, there's still a little bit more in there. Let's do get this the water. Let's put that in there. Try to get the most of it out of there. All right, boom, boom. All right, voila. Just like so. That's our marinade, folks. That's it right there. Our next step is going to be, our next step is going to be to prepare the meat. I'll put this, I'll put this marinade, I'll put this marinade in the refrigerator, in the refrigerator, this thing over here, and uh, while I'm preparing the meat, and then I'll put it all together, and then we'll marinate overnight. And we'll be done for the day. I can have some chips and homemade fresh pico. Ooh. Mm -hmm. This stuff's good. All right, we'll be right back with the meat. All right, well, welcome back. And uh, yeah, it's time to do the steak. I'm just trying to trim it up a little bit. And we're going to do a few things to it to set it up for success. So here's the meat. I hope you can see that. And the marinade. And so it's going to be a marriage made in heaven. Anyhow, so... Um, a couple of quick safety tips. Number one, see, I used to be on the safety committee. <laughs> That's true. Um, number one, knives. You don't want your knife sticking out off the edge like that. Obviously, you know why. Because um, obviously, you can catch. Uh, it can you can knock it off. It can lay it on your foot. And I wouldn't want that right now. Because uh, I don't have shoes on. Might not be a good idea. Best be careful. Um, <clears throat> anyhow, the other thing about knives is that when they fall, let them fall. Get out of the way, let them fall. Don't try to catch them. That could be a mistake. Uh, one, uh, one last thing about knives. You wanna, if you work in a restaurant and you wanna piss off the dishwasher, drop that knife into a three pot sink full of soapy water. Yeah, uh, they, if they don't hurt themselves, they hurt themselves one way or the other. They're, they're gonna be at you and you're gonna wish you'd never done that, okay? So keep the knives out of the sinks and um, don't put them on the edge of, the, of a table or a counter and be safe, folks, be safe. Anyhow, let's get started. 
First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim some of this fat. Like I said, I'm not gonna trim everything. And uh, just kinda get up underneath there, get some of that off there. Uh, you know, you'll find a, a technique, but uh, it's good to get up underneath there. And then you can kinda lift it up and pull it the rest of the way to get that cut up. And, and this really isn't that bad. Uh, like I said, this is probably, now if you see something like this, I can go underneath it halfway, like so, come this way, and then come back the rest of the way to get the rest of it. And that's kind of a technique that I've used uh, when I'm trimming different types of meat, like sirloin or whatever. So we're just going to cut a little bit of this off, a little bit of that off. And yeah, I'll be pretty, pretty content, I think. There we are. All right, there we go. <clears throat> it's good enough for me. It's gonna, it's gonna marinate. And so our next step, get rid of this. Well, I'll leave it right there for right now. All right, so my next step, get me a fork. I'm just gonna jab this fork. And this is physical tenderization, if you didn't already know. And <clears throat> we're gonna just kind of poke holes in it. You know, if I had a flank steak, I may not do this, I don't think, if it's if it's a leaner piece of meat. And, you know, if you don't have a flank or skirt steak, you can still do this with, um, oh, um, I don't know, like a top round or something like that. But, I mean, this is the preferred meat. So there you go. I've got it all done. Right? Okay. No. There's something else I can do. Now, if you look here, it's not too bad in this one, but it's pretty thick here. It's pretty thin there. Uh, what, I'm, what I'm about to tell you is we can use a mallet. If you don't have a mallet, just use a big spoon. And just pound it. And a mallet works best, but you're just trying to flatten it. So, oh shoot, I gotta turn that thing off. Alright, you're just trying to get it so that it's consistent thickness all the way down. It's the best of your ability. It's not a game changer if you can't. Uh, it just makes it a little easier to evenly grill it when you're when you're cooking when you're in the cooking process. So anyhow, that's that. <clears throat> now what we're doing, we're gonna take this and we're gonna put it in here in the marinade. That's right. That's why we have a marinade, right? And there we go. And get rid of that whip. And we got this container here. And we're going to pour that in there, like so. And I'm going to get down and dirty here. You might ask yourself, why did I put gloves on to handle that raw meat when I don't have gloves on now? I, I don't know. You know, honestly, when I'm dealing with raw meat, I just like a glove because it, you know, it gets all over your hands now. I don't know. Probably should have had another glove on, but it doesn't matter really. Uh, Safety-wise, uh, this meat here, we're going to be cooking it to temperature on the grill, and it's going to kill any bacteria and stuff that might get into it. And mind you, my hands—I washed them before doing all this, so all that's safe. Trust me. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so we're going to just mix this in a little bit, lay it out nice and flat. And you might say, it seems like a lot of cilantro, but you know what? That's the whole thing. The whole thing is about that. And um, when we're cooking this, uh, you'll see, it's going to be so delicious. That's it. It's marinating. I'm going to put this in the refrigerator, and tomorrow we're going to pull it out. When we do, we're going to let it rest for about nah, 10 minutes before we put it on the grill. But you'll see that if you keep watching. Now, I wonder where that baby the cat is. He's around here somewhere.
Saturday and uh, we're going to grill up some carne asada. So let's take a look at what it looks like. I, I pulled it out, letting it rest for about 10 minutes before I throw on the grill. The grill's already cleaned up, fired up, and ready to go. Uh, so um, get ready to cook some tortillas really quick. Have those ready. Anyhow, we're, this is going to be delicious. So it's been a lot of work to get here. So anyways, there's our carne asada. I got that in the picture good. And we're going to go out to the grill. We'll see how this works with the camera. Hopefully it works all right. I don't know. Anyhow, um, let's cook some carne asada. Meet me at the grill. Hey, we're outside in Joe's kitchen. <laughs> and uh, it's a beautiful day. No rain. I thought maybe we might get rain. We've been getting a lot of rain. But it's beautiful out. It's uh, late October. Last day of October. Uh, I mean August, actually. And, uh, yeah, we've got beautiful weather to cook with. So we're going to take the carne asada and put it on the grill. You ready? Okay. Oof. That grill's hot. You want a hot grill, that's for sure. And uh, put this down on there so we can see what's going on there. And there we go. Sure can't wait till my camera person comes back. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to take this beautiful meat out of the marinade. Right on there. That's another look at the marinade. There we go. We got that, that carne asada steak on there really good. Alright. We're going to let that cook on one side uh, for a couple minutes. Another side on a couple minutes. We'll see how long it takes. And we want it kind of like a medium rare, so that's what we're going for. We just love that sound. Just love that sound. All right, hopefully you can see me. I'm not on the selfie side. I'm in the... Well, anyhow, uh, we're going to take a close... I want you to see this a little closer than from the tripod I had set up earlier. So uh, we're getting ready to flip it. There we go. Oops, there we go. And, uh, you know, you're looking for... You know, it's look, looking a little bit cooked on the edges, not a whole lot, but you can always cheat. You know, you can always cheat and lift this up a little bit, see how it's looking. And um, I'm going to go ahead and flip it. So here we go. Mmm, boy, I tell you why, that's smelling good. That's smelling good. All right, I'll let it cook a little bit longer. It's actually pretty close. You always want to cook, cook it uh, probably a little bit more on the first side than the second side. It always works better that way. Uh, and this, you don't want to move around too much. Just, you know, a couple flips here and there and then take it off. And we're real close, so stay with us. All right, it's taco time. Let's get it off the grill. All right, here we go. Mmm, boy, doesn't that look good? All right, we're going to put it on our favorite Christmas doggy plate. Not Christmas yet, but it's around the corner, so we might as well celebrate early. Why not? All right, so we're going to take this um, beautiful carne asada. We're going to take it inside. Meet me inside, okay? And we're going to have a little taste. It's taco time. Back inside, inside Joe's kitchen, and here we are with the carne asada, the big finale. Anyhow, let's cut into it. Let's see what we got. Let's see what, what we have. I'm kind of correct my grammar. There we go. Now, if you remember, I was going to cut this in three sections this ways. And the reason being so I have nice manageable strips. And I don't have to cut all these right now. I'm just going to cut into one of them because that's all I'm going to need. But look at that. Oh my gosh. You see that? Oof. That is looking delish. Delish. So I'll just cut in some strips. Any size will do. And myself, I like to take them and then cut those strips in half. I want a little smaller piece of mix, mix these and bite into and all that. I'm going to give this a, a little Scooby snack just to try it out and see what it's like. Mm. 
you know, that's really good. You won't be disappointed. Anyhow, I'm gonna set the taco. We're gonna take a look at that too. So I have some shells here, tortilla shells. I have a plate. I'm gonna put the shell on the plate. We we'll start with the meat. Put the meat in there. Uh, let's not be too stingy. Let's just get some good meat in there. That should be good right there. And as I mentioned earlier, we made pico de gallo. And uh, there's, there's the pico de gallo. Ooh. And it's so fragrant. It smells so good. The cilantro, onions. I'm going to just pile that on there. I'll let you see here in a second. And voila. Okay, oops, spilled a little bit. There's that, all right. Mm. And then I like to finish it off with um, a little, little sour cream, but instead of sour cream, I am using plain Greek yogurt. Honestly, similar profile to me. I don't know, it's very good. All right, so let's uh, do the old taste test. I've been waiting for this. I don't know if I can do this. Oh Lord, it's, it's, it's dripping a little bit. Hmm. <laughs> Give me a second. There's a reason why carne asada is my favorite Mexican thing. I don't know, Pico's a toss-up too. Together, it's a marriage made in heaven. Well, let's take a look at that taco real. It's probably a mess on the plate there, but we're gonna have some tacos tonight. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a little long, I'm gonna try to cut back the best I can. Uh, it, next video I make, I'll probably have my camera person back and it'll be better <laughs> anyways uh until next time enjoy food we're gonna eat we're gonna eat we're gonna eat 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 and eat we're gonna eat eat and eat we're gonna eat 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 and eat welcome to joe's kitchen yeah we're gonna eat that's right